never accepting defeat. Greatness is living up to the expectations and setting new ones. Think you can hang with that? Removing all doubts. Why not? Coming back even stronger. You got that right. Greatness is taking fate into your own hands. Are you ready? Hey, Bill, watch car for me? Sure. Have a nice day. Shop like a pro for great deals on great gear during the Labor Day sale at Bass Pro Shops. Get an Ashley living room set starting at just $24.99 a week, all without credit, only at Renna Center. Uh, hello? How did you get in here? Xbox One X isn't out yet. Taco Bell's giving fans a chance to win early with every $5 box. We're ready to play. Well then, I guess we should get to it. Ah! My apologies, they're totally cold, Stu. Head to Taco Bell and grab any $5 box and you could be one of the first to win the new Xbox One X. We don't just want to watch the games cable gives us. We want all the teams, no matter where we live, with DirecTV NFL Sunday ticket. We want Falcons in New York. Jackson Allen! Bears in New Orleans. Or Buccaneers in a quaint little New England bed and breakfast. Can you please pass the marmalade, Charlie? I sure can, Crazy Pirate. Switch to DirecTV and get every game every Sunday with NFL Sunday Ticket. Call 1-800-DIRECTV. What's on the line? Well, it's a whole lot more than, than that, but it is about the Black Diamond Trophy, which Virginia Tech has had for the last 12 years because <laughs> they haven't played. And West Virginia definitely wants to take that back to Morgantown. Six and a half to go. Out of the end zone, as usual, by Sly and the touchback. So there's a, uh, a Twitter handle, Black Diamond Trophy. This was back on June 6, 2015 it started. They, they updated it, and they updated every single day. <laughs> every, that's 2016, and then today it was updated. Virginia Tech has held the Black Diamond Trophy 4,719 days at Black Diamond Trophy. They're verified. Their Twitter account is verified, and yours is increasing. <laughs> How's that possible? Is that the check mark? Yeah, the blue check. Here's Greer firing for Karan White. Goes up for it and couldn't bring it down. In fact, Adonis Alexander thought he should have intercepted the pass. Well, and I think this is going to be the strategy through the rest of this game for Will Greer, Jake Spavital. Test this secondary for Virginia Tech and man coverage downfield. They're dropping. Alexander with a great play there. How much do they have left in the tank? From the 25, again, Greer, the quick out to Gary Jennings. Gets about five yards of them. West Virginia's had terrible starting field position. They have not started beyond their own 27 all game. They've been dealing with a long field like they have here. It's third and five. It's great to have Gary Jennings back in the game. That's a win. Got some fluids in him. He's got 11 catches, almost 180 yards tonight. They've targeted him 19 times. Here's third and five. Greer under pressure. Gets rid of it. And overthrows Jennings. Luke Reynolds on the coverage. Great read by Mook Reynolds. They tried to trick him. They threw the bubble screen to Jennings on second down. And on third down, they tried to fool Reynolds with a little bubble screen pump and go. And Reynolds wasn't buying. And Greer took a rare shot. Neither quarterback has been hit much tonight. Tim Settle put a lick on him there. Fourth and five. Billy Kenny will try to squeeze another punt out of that right leg. And Strowman will call for the fair catch at the 34. Hokies are fired up. Seven point lead. They've got the football after the 36 yard punt. Well, we started the night comparing young Josh Jackson to uh, Michael Vick, the last freshman to start the season for the Hokies. And uh, you know what? We, we thought there was no way he could 
live up to the stats of Michael Vick. Well, so far, Josh Jackson's holding his own just fine. Vick threw the ball six times, huh? For 110 yards. Amazing. Virginia Tech, they lead in this game by seven for the third time. West Virginia has had the lead only once, and that was 7-3 way back in the second quarter. An eternity ago, here's Trayvon McMillan has the first down. And the clock spins down, 5.46 to play here in the fourth, Todd. Well, the two players that were the biggest question marks coming in were the quarterbacks. Career for West Virginia, 694 days not playing. And then this is the first game that Jackson's ever played. I'll tell you what, they've been the stars of this game. And Jackson, his toughness and his consistency has really impressed me for such a young quarterback. Flag flies. Hokies are pointing. Both sides are pointing at each other now. And we'll let these Big Ten officials sort it out. False start. Offense, number 69. Five yard penalty, first down. Looked like Nijman was reacting to the defensive tackle that jumped off sides, and Justin Fuente not happy about it. But Todd's talking about Josh Jackson. I got to give a little love to this offensive line for Virginia Tech. Coach for Virginia Tech. That's his first of the game. 15 yard penalty remains first down. Now that's even. Yeah, it's a point of emphasis. Uh, it's this year, these officials, the point of emphasis, coaches being on the field, they're going to be very aware when these coaches are 